Hi, it's Jaden from SteamyKitchen.com and you're watching ChannelAPA.com. Well, you know, a lot of people will say that they learned cooking from their moms or grandmas when they were really little. Not me, because when I was little, um, I hated being in the kitchen because my mom loved to cook so much that every time I'd go into the kitchen, she'd make me do the shit jobs, like wash dishes or, you know, wash the dirt off the vegetables, all the stuff that I, I would hate to do, peel the stupid little tails off the bean sprouts, and you'd have a big mountain of bean sprouts, and I hated that, so I never, ever wanted to be in the kitchen, and uh, it wasn't until I was in college, and I moved out of the house, and got my own place, I'm like, oh, I'm too poor to go to out, eat out all the time, and I got, I better learn how to cook, so that's when I started cooking myself. I started SteamyKitchen.com because of one thing that really happened. Um, we, I used to live in San Francisco. Um, my husband and I got married and we're like, okay, we want to start a family, but we can't afford to live in San Francisco. It's way too expensive. So we said, okay, let's start a brand new life and let's um, let's let's do something some you know a nice adventure where we can actually afford a house and you know great place to raise kids. So uh, he, my husband, bought me this massive massive map and it was laminated he bought me two maps one of the world and one of the US US and he gave me these little tiny stickers he goes okay put stickers everywhere you want to go where you think you want to live so here I'm stickering everywhere like any romantic sounding places like oh France Paris you know Spain Italy and then he goes okay just kidding we're really gonna stay in the US <laughs> he took that map away stuck it under the couch and we worked from the U.S. map and, uh, you know, a couple of rules, no snow because he's from Buffalo. And I always wanted to be by the water. So living in California, you know, I'm just so used to being by the water. So we had Southern California, like San Diego area, and then we had the coastline of Florida. And, you know, I had done Southern California and Southern California, San Diego area is just as expensive as the Bay Area here. So we said, you know, let's try Florida. And uh, we did some research online and we picked this small town called, uh, we picked this small town and, actually I don't want to say where, what city. So we did some research and we picked the small town of Florida and we moved there and we, you know, three times as much house for half the money. It was wonderful until, until I went to this restaurant called Bangkok Tokyo and I was just standing there waiting for my to-go order and someone was, uh, this lady was sitting at the sushi bar and she was talking so loudly on her cell phone saying, I'm having sushi at the Chinese restaurant. And I'm like, what? What? I got so mad because Bangkok, Tokyo is not China. And I got so upset and my husband's like, okay, we'll do something about it. So, because we're not moving. Um, called a local cooking school and asked if I could teach cooking classes. And they said, sure. So I taught cooking, cooking classes and taught people the difference between, um, you know, Chinese food and Japanese food, how to use dark soy sauce and different ingredients. And that the blog was born because I had a, I had to have a place to write my recipes, so that's how I started the blog. Right. My background, I <laughs> I like to eat. <laughs> that's my background. I love to feed people. Um, my biggest passion ever, ever, ever is I love to feed people. Um, it's not even necessarily about cooking. It's about you know. Um, two things. It's about feeding my friends and family. And the other one is, you know, teaching the joy of t um, teaching someone how easy it is to make something or to do something in the kitchen or to create a dish that they never thought they would ever be able to do. And, and you know, I can, I'm, I'm good at taking something complicated, breaking it down and being able to, to teach that. So I think that's my biggest skill. No, I'm not. I'm self-taught, absolutely 100% self-taught. In fact, I taught myself how to, I'm not very good at technology, but with the blog, you have to teach yourself that HTML crap and CSS gobbledygook. So I had to teach myself that. Then I, um, you know, when I buy a cookbook and I pick a cookbook off the shelf, I look through a cookbook, it's, 
it, it has to have pictures. So my blog was really boring, so I taught myself food styling and food photography, um, how to use a, a camera, um, taught myself that. And, uh, you know, everything I've been doing the past two and a half years has been self-taught. In fact, I still haven't had any media training, which I probably should have, but, you know, well, I, I'm good at studying something and, you know, really, really studying it and figuring out how can I master this skill? What's a shortcut to mastering this skill? Or what makes this person someone like, uh, what makes Rachel Ray so popular on television? How is she on TV and how does she relate on television? And, um, you, know, it, you know, just picking up cues like that. Some of it's online, some of the technology stuff like um, Photoshop and Lightroom um, and I, I taught myself how to edit video with iMovie, so I, I, every time I'm on television and I, can't, and I get some B-roll shot, I, I know how to piece that together, edit it together for television. I learned through lynda.com, um, L-Y-N-D-A.com. I just, you know, just watched the videos, taught myself how to do that. Um, for, with the camera, I, uh, at first, all I did was shoot the camera on automatic settings, pure automatic settings, and then I'm like, hmm, what if I turn this dial here and use AV and what do I have to adjust to make my pictures look really good so I started shooting on um, on that setting and then my friend Diane of white on rice couple .com, which is she's another fabulous blogger she's um, Vietnamese and her partner is Caucasian and they have amazing food blog called white on rice couple she taught me how to use my camera on manual settings I still don't know all the functions mean I still call I, I probably I know I say all the uh, the terminology wrong the the wheelie doobie bopper and the button that you you slide this way and that way um, that changes uh, the fuzziness of stuff you know I, I still talk like that and people think I'm an idiot <laughs> so much thought into that because I used to say modern Asian cooking now um, and when I first started the blog that you know that if anyone's starting a website or a cooking blog my biggest advice is to specialize in one thing and be a master at that one thing because if you try to to do too many different things there's so much there, there's so much out there there's so many blogs out there hundreds and thousands of food blogs and you know, it's, it's hard to stand out, but if you are really good at that one thing, and you can make people remember, okay, every time I, I'm looking for an Asian recipe, I'm going to steamykitchen.com. Uh, that's what I did. Uh, so I really, really honed a specialty into Asian cooking, taking some, um, you know, Asian recipes, making them more modern, and that might mean uh, modernizing the ingredients to things that you can find at the supermarket, or it mean might mean instead of using a mortar and pestle that you can use a Cuisinart, um, or shortcuts, or you know, taking out some of the some of the steps or some of the you know ingredients that uh, aren't absolutely essential to the dish, and just streamlining it so that you can cook it at home fast. Um, I like fresh vegetables. I like vibrant. If you look throughout my cookbook and throughout my site, you can see my vegetables are bright and vibrant. Um, I love that. I, I hate goopy sauces. I hate brown sauce. I don't think I ever, I don't think I even have anything in my, in the cookbook or on the site that includes a br br brown sauce. I don't even think I use a word brown sauce. <laughs> I don't even use cornstarch that much because I know a lot of Chinese cooking, uh, when you go to Chinese, take out the cheap Chinese stuff. Whatever you order, it comes in the same brown goopy sauce, and that's really gross, so I don't like that. I wish I had time. Um, I don't because I like, there are certain shows that I do really like. I don't like watching the reality contest shows as much. It doesn't really appeal to me. Um, I don't like, you know, the pitting of one person against another, team A against team B. I don't know, when you're, when it's edited down like that, it can get kind of ugly and it, sh it just is not appealing to me. It's very dramatic and I'd rather spend my time going on other food blogs and watching video online um, because I've made a wonderful community of friends online that we all share the passion of food. Oh, it was probably um, fried rice because that I learned from my mom. Um, you know, she's she gave me the general rules of fried rice. Use day old rice, uh, have a very very hot wok, and cook ingredients separately. Those my those were the rules. And then I could play along with different ingredients if I had bell peppers or uh, and or or frozen peas, a bag of frozen peas, even uh, frozen peas and rice and Chinese sausage is one of my favorite 
fried rice. And if I don't have that, then I'll substitute for something else. But the basic rules of you know stir frying or fried rice is something my mom taught me.